Exam season is here and it can be very easy to feel stressed and overwhelmed and that's why in this video I'm going to be sharing 7 ways to lower exam stress. Number one, exercise. Now we all know that exercise has a plethora of health benefits like improving your cardiovascular health, improving your body composition, increasing your bone density, lowering your risk for various diseases and much more. But besides that, exercise also helps lower your stress levels to a large extent and it also boosts blood flow to the frontal lobes of your brain which can actually improve your academic performance. So make it a point to exercise every single day. And guys, exercise doesn't have to be a hard workout at the gym every single day. It can literally be something as simple as a 30 minute bike ride or you know, just dancing or playing a sport or doing a yoga session or it can be anything you enjoy but basically move your body in some way or the other every single day and try to aim for about 30 minutes to an hour at least um, if you can do more that's even better but uh, try to aim for that and yeah just do the best you can number two sleep now sleep is very underrated and you know there's a quote which says sleep is the most legal performance enhancing drug out there and i think that's true not just in sport but in every area of life because sleep is when your body repairs it's when new memories form it's when new neural networks uh, are formed as well but the problem is so many of us are under sleeping and that can also lead to symptoms of stress and anxiety and i know a lot of students at my university for example they're living off of caffeine so if you're just living off of caffeine your body is in fight or flight mode most of the time and that can contribute to heightened feelings of stress and anxiety and that's why sleep is so important so make sure to uh, get seven to eight hours of quality sleep every single night and as i mentioned in the previous point getting some exercise in every day is going to help you achieve that target number three eat a healthy balanced diet now i know there are a lot of diet wars online but guys your food directly affects your mental health and the way you feel and the amount of stress you feel in your life and that's why it's very important to eat a healthy diet and to put quality food inside your body now i do follow a vegan lifestyle personally for ethical reasons but the dietary philosophy which i would encourage you all adopt is to just focus on foods with single ingredients you know single ingredient whole unprocessed food and just avoid ultra processed food packaged foods refined sugars fried food all these kind of food items as much as possible if you just do this you won't even feel the need to count calories because you'll only be putting clean nutrient dense food into your body number four set small achievable targets because if I've learned anything about human psychology over the past few years, it's that we as humans don't like to set big ambitious goals in the sense, you know, if something seems too daunting for us, we're far less likely to do it. You know, if you say that you have to study 10 chapters just in one day, that can seem very tough. But if you say that I just have to study and do all the problems on one single page, that actually seems a lot more achievable. So my point is identify small things which you can do every single day to get you towards the goal that you want to achieve and to do that you've just got to start studying well before the exam guys because what i've learned is studying the day before the exam does not help you're probably not going to remember most of it look if you can study the night before an exam and get away with it by all means do it and more power to you but i'm definitely not one of those people and i feel like you got to set small realistic goals which you can stick to every single day and then prioritize consistency above all else and that can go a long way in helping you achieve uh, reduce your exam stress number five Remind yourself of how far you've come. You know, I feel like in today's day and age, it can be very easy to get lost in that comparison game and constantly keep comparing yourself to other people and what they're doing. But what I do believe is that you've just got to look back and remind yourself of how far you've come. And the only time you should be looking back is to remind yourself of how far you've come. And this can go a long way in reducing your stress and anxiety levels. And it's also going to help you perform better in your exams because it's going to show you that you've actually prepared because I feel like we underestimate ourselves a lot of the time. So if you've done your preparation, remind yourself about all the hard work you've put in and ultimately just let God, the universe or some higher power or whatever it is that you believe in 
take care of the rest you know uh, because you you just got to focus on that which is in your control there are a lot of things which are not in our control but what is in your control is your effort results are not in your hands so there's no point even thinking about them number 6 talk it out talking it out is an underrated tool to lower stress you know it's like you're lifting a massive weight off your shoulders and there's a beautiful quote which says a joy when shared is a double joy and a sorrow when shared becomes a half sorrow so talk it out and you'll find that you can actually relate to other people a lot more than you might think and who knows people might actually feel the same stress and anxiety as you and that can be a wonderful conversation that you can have and collectively you can make yourselves all feel better the seventh and final tool that i have for you guys is to meditate meditation is an underrated tool when it comes to lowering exam stress and anxiety you know in so many scientific studies meditation has been shown to lower stress levels and it's just all about being present and living in the moment and i think if you can bring that presence to your life and just live in the moment then it's very difficult to feel stress because you're just appreciating this beautiful life that's in front of us and even in the exam guys it's all about just being there answering one question at a time it's not about thinking about the entire lengthy paper that you have to do or all the chapters you have to study it's literally about taking it one step at a time because lao su said the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step so yeah i would highly recommend meditation breath work and guys even if you're not meditating it's fine just find a way to have some sort of stillness in your life just be where you are be where your feet are you know perhaps walking bare feet on the grass with no music on that could be another mindful meditative practice that you could do but basically it's all about being present where you are and that can uh, you know reduce stress levels massively so i'd highly recommend giving that a shot so guys to summarize the seven tips which i've shared with you to lower your exam stress are number 1 exercise number 2 sleep for about 7 to 8 hours every single night number 3 eat a healthy balanced diet number 4 set small achievable goals every single day that you're going to work towards number 5 remind yourself of how far you've come number 6 talk it out and number 7 meditate and guys i promise you if you do even one or two of these things you will find that your exam stress and these are things that lower stress in life in general it's not just when it comes to exam season so you can apply them at any phase of your life and i promise you that they're going to be very effective if you just implement them and i'd encourage you to give some of these a shot whichever one you want you don't have to do all of these but i would encourage you to give at least one of these a shot just give it a shot with an open mind and let me know how you get on you know i'd love to know um what your experience is like so do share your biggest insights or take away with me down in the comments and do share your experiences by tagging me on instagram as well you can tag me at arjun.gupta44 i'll uh, link that in the description as well thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video